Hello everyone. So today we are going to see string function in Oracle SQL. So in the previous video we have seen the numerical functions. So if you didn't watch that video, then you can watch that video. I will give link of that video in the description. So let us see what are the string functions are there. So first one is the length. So length of the given string. If you want to find the length of the given string, then you can go with this length. So let's suppose I want to find the uh, length of the hello. So let's go to SQL plus and here I will go here we go so how many characters are there hello in the hello five characters are there so length of the string will be five so let's suppose we have a, a select star from student table so I want to find the student name and their length corresponding length so I will do what select student name comma alien length of student name from student table so here we go Raja and length is 4 Rajesh length name of Rajesh is 6 so Ram length is 3 so this is the way we can use length function next example we will see so let's suppose we want to find good morning so this string length we want to find so let us go here so it should give us how many 4 and this space so 5 characters are there and remaining this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 and 5, 12. So it should give us a 12. Here we go. 12 is come. So this is a way we can find uh, length of the string. So let's suppose this is a query. So we can write a query. So we have here a table that is select star from student. And I want to find the student record whose length of the name is 4. So I will write here a query select star from student where where clause length of the student name should be equals to 4. So here we go. So only Raja and John name have a length 4. So that's why we are getting this two record. Next function is lower. So to convert a uppercase character into lowercase character we use this function that is lower. So let's suppose we will go here clear the screen so if I want to select lower of jhon from dual here we go we are getting the lowercase characters so here all the characters are in the uppercase but here we are using lower so it will do all these characters into lower so if you give lower it will not do anything it will give same as it is so John it will give as John so the lower is used to this capital letters to small letters all so let's suppose we have a select star from student student table and in that you can see John so J is capital I want to do it in a lower so select lower of student name from student table where student number what is the student number of John one 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 six here we go John is coming in lower so here it is capital it is coming small so this is the way we can use lower then upper so upper is reverse of lower so it will uh, convert into the small into upper case that is in the capital so let's go to SQL plus clear the screen here we go hello it should be convert so what happened we have to give here upper so upper so all the here we go all these are in ca small letter it will become uh, converted into capital so let me clear the screen clear this here now here we have select star from student table and here we go so all the names are in a lower case but i want to in the upper case so how can we do that select upper of student name n a m e from student table here we go all the names are in uppercase earlier it was in lower so this way we can use upper function the next one is init cap so to convert first character it is used so let's suppose this is the example let me copy this go here clear the screen now it init cap so it will 
the uh, capitalize the first character so in that case what we should get h e double hello so let's execute this here we go hello so let's take this example copy this go here paste here here how many words are there good and morning so it will capitalize the first character so here we go here we can see g is converted to capital and m is converted to more so this way we can use init cap so convert first character to the capital next one is the l trim so to remove the unwanted spaces or characters from the left side so let's go and use this so clear the screen select l trim of i will use space 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 j h o n from dual here we go so it will remove the unwanted spaces from the l left so l means what left unwanted spaces from the left will be removed by this function called l trim also we can remove the unwanted character so let's see the example of that so let me copy these go to the sql plus prompt clear the screen and paste here so l trim earlier we are doing with the space now here x this x we want to remove from the left side so here along with the string we have to give the character what we have to remove from the left side so this x x x will be removed here we go here we can see john x is removed and make sure that it will be only removed from the left side so let's suppose i will give here in the right side it will not remove the right side here we go only left side will be removed and it will not also remove the middle so let's suppose in the x after j i will give so it will not remove only up to where in the left he will find x if we find any other character it will leave there so here x is there he will find here j so it will leave from here it will not go further so it will only check to the left that to the whatever character we are giving so this is about l trim next let's suppose uh, r trim so it is opposite of left trim so let's go to the sql plus clear the screen so select now right trim trim of j h o n john x x x x x i want to remove this x so from dual here we go so up to right whatever x are there it will remove that let's suppose it will not remove from the left so if i give x that will not be removed only from the right it will remove in the left what will happen only from the left it will remove so it is completely opposite of the l trim so this is about r trim then next we have trim now trim so to remove unwanted spaces from the both the side so from the both the side if you want to remove then in that case we use this so the trim is used to remove unwanted spaces and unwanted character from the both the side so let's go here so here i will use select trim from xxx john xxx and we want to remove x from the both side from dual so what will happen it will see the left it will remove that it will go to the right it will remove that so let's go here we should get what happened select uh, i think select three yeah here we have to use the from sorry the syntax of this so here here we have to use trim x from this string so let's go here and here we go so here we have to give the character from the both side if you want to remove that that character we have to give from the this string so john will be came here but if i go here and between this x x x x x x if i execute this so here we go so as we have discussed it will go to the left and it will only see x whenever it will see the character other than x it will leave that so it will only remove here it will see j it will stop here then it will go to the right it will see this 
it if it found the character other than x then it will leave there so it will not go further so this will be the output so this is about trim function the next one is l pad so to fill a string with a specific character on the left side of a given string so the syntax of this is string line and string to so let's suppose l pad example so let me clear the screen so select l pad of so what is the syntax string length and string so here i have a string hello and i want the length 10 and at the left it should add this hash from dual so what is happening l pad in the left you want to add the character and here we will give the length so what happened give the string with line 10 so what is the length of this 5 hello length is 5 so this function in the left up to the length of the string will become 10 until its length become 10 it will add this character hash up to the left so what will get hash 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 h e w l o so this five character this five character total will be 10 so it will add this hash up to five times so that the total length of the string should be equals to this so this is about l pad so to fill a string with a specific character on the left side of the given string and what is the syntax of this l pad first of all we have to give the string then resultant string length then string 2 that is what is the character we have to add at the left then write r pad so it is a opposite of l pad so to fill a string with a specific character on the right of the given string so let's see the example go here and if i paste here here we go so it will see what is the length 5 so to uh, convert it into length of 10 it will add until this length of string become 10 it will add this hash so hash will be 5 times and hello string length is 5 5 and 5 10 so this is about r pad then next one is concat so adding a two string expressions so concat is used to adding to string expression so what is the syntax of this concat this is a function we have to provide the two string which we have to concat so let us see the example of concat so let's go to the sql plus and paste here so here we go so concat these two strings will be concatted so this is the syntax we have to write concat then first string second string so if i execute this here we go you can see that goodbye so here i will give one space after good then here we go goodbye is coming so this is the way we can use this concat the next one is a replace so to replace one string with another string this is use so the syntax is replace string 1 string 2 string 3 so this string will be replaced by this so ell in the hello ell will be replaced by xyz so let me copy this and let's execute this go to here and paste here so here we go so here we can see ell at the place of ell xyz is replaced so what is the syntax first string then what string part we have to replace with what string so ell will be replaced with xyz so the next string next example is this example let us see so let's copy this go to the here and paste here now what will happen wherever there is l that will be replaced with this abc so let's execute this and here we go so how many times there is l two times so two times abc will be added at the place of l abc abc so this is the output
clear the screen so this is about replace the next is translate so to translate a single character with the another single character so it is translated with character by character so let us see copy this go here paste here now what will happen e will be replaced with x so whatever l are there that will be replaced with y whatever o will be there that will be replaced with z so here the character by replacing character by character replace so wherever there is e it will replace with x wherever l that will be replaced with y and for o there is a z it will not see the word it will one by one character it will assign this so here we go x h x y y z here two times l that's why what is the corresponding character of l y so two times y you can see then x z so translate to translate a single character with another single character then next one is a substring so if you want to find the substring of any string then we can use this function so let's see the example so here we go paste here so what is this here h e double l o let me give the spaces h e double l l o and the spaces will be 1 2 3 4 5 so this is the index position 1 2 3 4 5 so from index 2 up to 3 plus so from e 1 2 3 so output will be e l l e l l so this is the starting position from we want a string and this is the length of the string so from starting position 2 plus 3 equals to 5 so 2 to this before 5 whatever characters are there that will be printed here so let's execute this here we go from the second index three size string will be come here let's see the another example so let me take this welcome now clear the screen paste here now fourth is one two third four so from c and what is the length o oh, that is two so only two will be come here this is the starting index and length of the substring so co will come so let's execute here we go co is come so this is the way we can use substring so syntax is string starting position of character and length of the characters then this instr so this returns occurrence position of the character in the given string so let's see let me copy this go here paste here now in this string what is the first occurrence index of o so here we go this so what is index 1 2 3 4 5 so we should get 5 so here you can see 5 so what is the position of this in this given string first occurrence so this is at index 5 so we are getting 5 next we will see the example So this is copy this go here paste now here the z is not present in the string so what we will get we will get 0 if there is no character present with that in that case we will get 0 here we go 0 so these are the string functions so first one what we have seen let us see So first one we have seen is length, then lower, then upper, then we have seen init cap, then L trim, R trim, trim, then L pad, R pad, next one is concat, then replace, then translate, then substring, and last one is instr. So these are the string functions we can use. So if you like this video, then you can hit like button and subscribe to our channel.